Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory, and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in today's video, we're going to be going over the current collection sets and their current cycles, and then we're also going to go over the daily challenges, but if you guys are specifically looking for Madame Nazar's location, make sure you guys check out the video that was already released previously to this one, so that way you guys don't have to wait around just in case we don't have to go over it in any of the daily challenges. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive right into it. But if you guys are enjoying these types of videos and want to continue seeing these types of videos, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. Uh, you already clicked on the video, so you might as well go ahead and click on those things and leave a comment, something nice, positive, because you know what? We want to create a positive atmosphere and a positive community. So leaving a positive comment, you know, Kind of does those things. Just kind of throwing that out there. But anyway, let's go ahead and talk. Oh, we're going to talk a little bit about the collection sets and their current cycles first. So we're going to do everything that involves using the field shovel because that is what's changed with the most recent update. We got the fossils, which are going to be a part of cycle number three. The loss of jewelry, which will be a part of cycle number one. The arrowheads, which will be a part of cycle number five. The family heirlooms at cycle number five. And then the coins at cycle number one. Now, the next four sets that I'm about to go over, you don't even need to be a collector at all in order to collect them, but you do need to be a collector in order to sell them. This is the best way of earning money here in Red Dead Online, so I definitely recommend that you guys go ahead and get that collector bag as soon as you possibly can if you don't already currently have it. Yes, I understand that it was nerfed and you can't make as much money as you used to be able to, but it is still the best way of earning cash. In Red Dead Online. So we got the American flower, Wildflowers. There's going to be three sets every single day. You can actually be a part of cycle number four. We got the tarot cards at cycle number three. The antique alcohol bottles at cycle number one. And the bird eggs at cycle number five. I wish you guys happy hunting and making a lot of money here in Red Dead Online. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the daily challenges. We're going to quickly go over the list mode, and then we're going to follow that up with extensive details. So let's go ahead and do that right now, starting with the daily general challenges. We got one cooked seasoned exotic bird, five desert sage picked, one loon skinned. We got one multiplayer multiplayer kill within five seconds in a free roam event. Five oregano picked. Five red sage pick really okay. Um, and then we got one Sean McGuire mission completed. The bounty hunter, we got two bounties brought in from New Austin posters, three bounty targets looted, and then more than one bounty target brought in at once. The trader roll, we got fifteen thousand eight hundred and thirty distance delivery wagon traveled while on a mission. We got two goods sold to a local buyer, and then ten small animal carcasses donated to Crips. The collector roll, we got three arrowheads found, six collectibles collected, and then three collectibles sold to Madame Nazar. The moonshiner roll, we got one moonshine bar changed to core, four moonshine served to other players at a bar, and then two played with the band for two minutes. And then last but not least, we got the naturalist roll, we got five animal samples taken within ten minutes, and then three mountain grassland animal samples taken, and then three wetland animal samples taken. All right, you guys have the opportunity of actually earning 11 gold bars every single day. And uh, you can earn five from the daily general challenges and six from the daily rule challenges. In order to get up to 11 gold bars, there's two requirements. Number one, make sure that you've completed at least one daily challenge for 21 days in a row. Real 21 days. And then make sure that you guys have purchased all the rolls, all five of them, and then be at least a rank 10 in each of those rolls. That will give you access to 15 daily rule challenges each and every single day. You can only do nine. You can only complete nine. But graze out after nine. So you might as well pick the nine that are the easiest for you to complete each and every single day. All right. Let's go and talk about these in extensive detail. Now, I'm really... This is kind of weird. We got Desert Sage and Red Sage. And then we got Oregano. Okay. Um, so Oregano, for the most part, can be literally found anywhere. But Desert and Red Sage are going to be found down in New Austin. So there probably is a few down there. I'm not as familiar with uh, as I am with them the, around the Valentine area. So, if, but if you guys roam around where I'm going to show you guys the Desert Sage and the Red Sage, you probably will be able to find uh, oregano um, as well. But anyway, for now, I'm just going to quickly go over a couple different locations that you guys can actually go to in order to find these. So we got uh, pretty much right in here. There should be a couple different uh, sets of oregano. 
Uh, right above this shack right here or off to the back. We got a couple in the back side over here. Uh, we also have another one that should be roughly right about here. Uh, we got another one that's really close to the train station. And then right there. And then we got another one that's going to be right about here. And then we've got another one that should be... I believe it's like right here-ish or so. So... That should be plenty of oregano. Like I said, you guys can come down to the New Austin area in order to find this. But Red Sage, for the most part, I like to go right here at this S Bend. There's actually some right here. I'm only going to show you guys a couple different spots because I'm not going to be able to mark all these. So right where my cursor is at right now, you come down a little bit further and you're going to find a couple more spots on this side of the road and then another one on this side of the road. There's like four different locations right here in this location and then if we go a little bit further west this is where desert sage will be if you come right here at the intersection of the e and start right here and then work your way this way by the time you get halfway down this road you should be able to collect all five but there's there's like three at this intersection there's like three at this intersection and then there's a couple down over in this general area as well so Lots of collecting doing today for the herbs, so definitely make sure you guys participate in those because those should be really easy to get done and complete. Uh, we got cooked season exotic bird. You can use any, nope, you can use oregano for the seasoning, oregano thyme or mint for that. And then you need to get pelican meats for, for the, or pelicans for the exotic bird game meat. Uh, and you're going to find that pretty much right here uh, off this island, or on this island right here off of uh, Quaker's Cove. I uh, can always find pelicans there. Otherwise, you can typically find pelicans right along this coast by roads. And you can also, every once in a while, find them hanging out over in this general area of Blue Water Marsh. All right. And then you're going to have to go to any campfire. And then you combine the seasoning and the bird, the exotic bird meat. And then you should be able to get that one completed. Uh, loon skinned. Uh... Well, there's a couple different spots that you guys can go for this one, honestly. I actually do mine usually right around the Heartland Overflow. Actually, there are a lot of times that you can find loons in the Blue Water Marsh area, which I know that we're going to be doing wetland animals uh, at some point. So I did see that one with the Naturalist roll. So this is probably where I'm going to find try to look for them if I possibly can. Otherwise, uh, that's my main areas otherwise uh uh lake Owangila, just uh northwest of strawberry is a really good spot to find a couple there's a couple that are sitting just in the southwest or southeastern corner of that lake all right the next one on the list is to get five or i'm sorry one multiple player player kill within five seconds of each other i would use explosive rounds or dynamite arrows to get that one completed just to get it done and over with as quick as possible and then last but not least we have sean mcguire mission which Mr. Sean will be down here by Blackwater, and that's where he is at. So just make your way down to this location and go ahead and do one of his missions, and that one's going to be done. I think for the most part, a lot of the Daily General challenges today are pretty easy to complete. So it shouldn't be too hard for everybody to get done. Then we got uh, the, the Bounty Hunter role, which is the only role that does pay out additionally in gold. Two bounties brought in from New Austin posters. You have to go down there for the Desert Sage and also the Red Sage. So you might as well go to either Tumbleweed, Benedict Point, or Armadillo and complete these two. And then you have to loot three bounty targets. So just make sure that before you turn them in, you loot them. And then three more than one bounty brought in at once. The best way to do this is actually with a friend that has the exact same one. And then you guys can actually help each other out. Just be in the same posse. doesn't matter who's. And then just don't go ahead and do that one. Uh, that's the easiest way. Otherwise, you got to kill either both the targets yourself or use your hunting or your bounty wagon. It just makes it a little bit uh, more difficult if you ask me. The trade roll. We've got a distance of 15,830 by delivery wagon while on a mission. This will be equivalent to two distant deliveries so this is going to take a little bit of time this is one that i will not be doing because it is based on efficiency of time and opportunity for gold it's not worth it for me but two goods sold to a local buyer yep i could probably do that that's pretty easy to do and then 10 small animal carcasses small animal carcasses donated to crypts are going to be things like bats rats toads bullfrogs Western chipmunks, any of the squirrels, crows, and any other of those really small birds. If you guys want easy bats, rats, toads, and bullfrogs, go to Blue Water Marsh area. You'll be able to find specifically in the, the evening hours. And then we got three arrowheads found. 
Uh, again, Arrowheads will be a part of cycle number five. And then we got three collectibles sold to Madame Nazar. Madame Nazar is actually at Window Rock for today. And then six total collectibles collected. So if you do the whole Arrowhead set, obviously you're going to get all of them. Otherwise, you can get the six collectibles collected just by doing any of the other ones if you would like to. The Moonshiner roll, we got one Moonshine bar changed to core. You can either change a painting or the entire theme by talking to Maggie and going into the bootlegger store. We got four Moonshine served to other players at a bar. The best way to do this is actually with any other friend or just any other random player in general. And then basically serve them at their bar or yours. It doesn't really matter which one. And then we got two times play with the band for two minutes. So that's going to be a total of four minutes. So once you start playing, you can actually grab yourself a snack, a beverage, whatever you might want to do. And then that one come back and it should be complete. And then last but not least, we got the naturalist roll. So we got five animal samples taken within 10 minutes. I still think the best places to do this is either in uh, Valentine because you have pigs and sheep here or in Emerald Ranch or Emerald Station because you have sheep, goats, ox, and cows all in that area. So I think that's really easy. Uh, wetland animals, I specifically would be going after the large alligators because I think they're the easiest in that category. And then three mountain and grassland animals. Whatever you find the easiest to hunt and get samples at, that's what you guys need to focus on. It doesn't matter of like the 15 that you want to participate in. Just pick whatever ones you want to do. And it can be three of the exact same type. It doesn't matter. But anyway, that is all the daily challenges done, gone over, and covered. If you guys do have any questions regarding any of the daily challenges, by all means, leave a comment down below because I'd love to be able to help you guys out if I possibly can. But if you guys did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.